Well, hello and welcome to Outdoor Oklahoma. I'm Todd Craighead. I'd venture to say that most all of us are either directly or at least indirectly connected to a military veteran. And because of the freedoms that we enjoy today, well, we're all benefiting from their sacrifice and service. One organization, Patriot Hunts, is honoring those wounded in combat in a unique way. And today we're going to meet some volunteers that honored one very special veteran that served our country nearly 70 years ago. Patriot Hunts is going into its 13th year this year. It's a great organization that it takes combat wounded veterans and Gold Star families out on hunting adventures all across the country, whether it's kayaking, fishing, hunting, whatever, as a form of therapy to either heal those wounds, whether physical or emotional, or a lot of times in the Gold Star family side of things, you know, that means that they had a loved one that didn't come home from overseas. And that means a lot to them to get back out in, into the woods like their father or mother took them and kind of continue a legacy. And so they strive to, to get people back out in the outdoors and use the outdoors as a form of therapy to, to really help them uh, cope and heal. In 1950, I turned 18 and I joined the Navy Reserve, thinking I wouldn't be drafted by the Army. But that didn't exempt you during the draft and during the Korean War. And I got drafted at the age of 19 by the Army. So I went up 23rd in Lincoln at the Navy Reserve office and signed up for active duty. And within 10 days, I was gone to the Navy. And then I was shipped out in the fleet out to Alameda, California. And there I worked on air aircraft every day. And I enjoyed my time. In fact, I'm, I'm very proud to be a veteran. I, I'm no hero. I did nothing but, but what I was told. I always kept my nose clean. Uh, worked on airplanes every day. I worked on fuel cells, patching up the holes that automatically close when the bullet goes through them, but we cut out the big hole and patch it all back in layer by layer. But I enjoyed my time in the military and I'm very proud that I had the privilege to serve. Uh, wouldn't take anything for that time because I learned a lot and I learned uh, really what America was all about in a lot of ways that people don't get to learn if they don't spend some time in the military. So I'm very proud of those days. And then when I got discharged, of course, I came home uh, at the end of the war in 50, about July of 54, I came home. And from that, I began to build houses in 63, and I spent 50 years building new homes in Oklahoma City with my son and I, uh, Galen, and I developed four big areas, over 600 lots, along with building houses. And I retired in December, uh, I beg your pardon, in the summer of 2012. We're all done. We hunt and fish now and I love hunting and fishing. When we had found out that we were going to do the Patriot hunts, uh, turkey hunt again this year, uh, we decided to um, pair up, you know, guides and uh, cameramen with their hunters. And I had learned that I was gonna be with uh, Mr. Harlan and uh, I knew that he was a Korean War vet. He was 85 years old. And Harlan, he's a funny guy. He loves the Lord, that's for sure. But he's energetic and he's ready to go. And, and his energy in camp was a lot of fun. And in fine fashion, he had a very pretty red viper. And uh, it kind of blew us all away. It thumbs up when you get to drive this once in a while. Here we were thinking we were dealing with an 85 year old, you know, Korean War vet that we thought, you know, might be a challenge to hunt with and come to find out he races cars. He has and drives fast and in his fast cars. That drew quite a bit of attention when he rolled up in that, uh, that new red shiny Viper with a pretty lady with him and, and uh, I think he got about as much of a kick out of that as we did. It 
it didn't help that we were kind of a little detoured by the pigs that were in the field that morning. So we, we had a little bit of a dilemma whether we were gonna try to sneak up on the pigs, which they didn't see us coming, and maybe shooting one of these pigs before the birds got out of the trees. Um, we had one pig across the field that we didn't see spotted us and kind of busted the other, so that allowed us to get focused back, you know, towards the turkey. Once we had made eye contact with our turkey, uh, we had a couple of other little setbacks that kind of concerned me. Uh, we had a coyote come into our field, uh, across the field, and, and eyed our decoy. Uh, he made his way across the field, and I was concerned that he might kind of uh, booger this bird for us. He didn't seem to have much effect uh, on the hunt, which we were thankful for, but there's, there's always that decision of, is this gonna turn into a coyote hunt or are we keeping this a turkey hunt? This turkey had set up across the field at probably 400 yards and we could see him through the trees and uh, he wasn't wanting to come down off the hill. We couldn't see that he had anybody with him, uh, but we really had to give it our best effort to convince this turkey to get, a, to get across to us. As any good turkey hunter will do, you've got to carry at least five or six, you know, slate calls and box calls and mouth calls. And, and so we threw the kitchen sink at him. At this point, you know, having been in the field with turkeys, you know, often enough, uh, you can kind of read his body language, he's gonna do it. There's just something about these turkeys that when they're in range, whether you have the gun or whether the person next to you has the gun, there's just something really special about it. Uh, just a, a real connection with the animal, with your uh, hunting partners and um, that was a really special moment knowing that something was going to get ready to happen and uh, that everything had kind of come together at the, at the right place and at the right time. Um, I'm just about to crawl out of my skin at this point, excited and, and ready for him to be able to uh, have his big shot. And the old bird began to strut, his tail spread out, and he was doing his best to show the ladies what he had.
Karen pecked me on the shoulder and said, That. You <laughs> called him in and we took him down. <laughs> wow. Good job. My first good job. job. 20 years. Very good. Wow. So happy for you. Thank you, thank you. You guys did it. <laughs> Man. Can you believe that? Thank God. My first turkey in 20 years. <laughs> man, oh man, oh man. Woo. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Oh. Here, hold it. Oh, oh, you got to do with him. You got. It. How about a hand? This chair you gave me is low. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, watch, just watch your step. Watch your claw bar. Oh yeah, I'm good to go. You go ahead. Plenty of water in here. Yeah. As a guide, when the words come out of my mouth take them, um, that's just a, a really, you know, special and exciting moment. Uh, the adrenaline can't really get too much higher. Uh, you know that that any second now that it's going to happen, um, that's just what you live for as a turkey hunter. Um, that rush and, and um, that moment in time is as good as it gets. Congratulations. Man, thank you, man. Thank you so much. What a hunt. You guys put her, all I had to do is pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> I right. did spot him wheel there about what, 300 you, yards. You got him. You, you got, got him. him. So, uh, you're the first one to see him. He's and, coming in. Yeah. Man, that's a pretty bird. I guess the excitement of that moment was kind of like when you catch a big black bass and you see him break the water, you think, I got to keep him on the line. And so you work to get him back under the water and get him in the boat. That's an adrenaline rush, but also when I'm racing my little my little white Plymouth, uh, and I, I leave the line good with no red light, and the other guy's right on my right or left, and we're running a close race, but I finally drive around him in second gear, and when I get down to the end of the track, I see the big light pop on, I know I've won. So all three of these are kind of similar as far as that adrenaline rush and excitement time. When Mr. Harlan made the shot, um, it was overwhelming. I was so excited for him. He was so excited for himself. Um, we couldn't hardly contain ourselves. Um, the, uh, it, it's just, it was a very emotional experience. I was so proud and so happy for him. Um, our hard work paid off. And this moment coming together the way it did just was extremely special. <laughs> and going out and killing a bird or a pig or anything else, it's not what makes the hunt, it's not, it's not what makes it successful. To, be, to see them come in and have worries just lifted off of their shoulders and they're having such a good time in camp and giving each other a hard time and all that, that that's part of it. But, you know, all these veterans come to me afterwards or whatever and they, the whole time they're there, they're just, we thank you so much for doing this, I appreciate everything you're doing. And I'm throwing my hands up like, you guys are giving way more to me than I'm giving to you. And, and everybody that has helped me with this deal that will tell you the same thing. We are so humbled to have them there in our home or in our camp or whatever. And it just means so much to us to give back to the American hero. A lot of the hunters that have come up to us, you know, they say, you know what? I had a, a bad result at the doctor last week and knowing that looking forward to coming here, it just made everything so much better. And you know, I've even had, you know, some people tell me that Patriot Hunt saved their lives. And if we can do that, you know, with one hunt, one turkey hunt at a time, why not? Hey guys, what a day. Good hunt. Good hunt. Beautiful weather and a turkey. Good job, Harlan. Thank you. Thank you guys. Good job. Very happy for you. I guess. You want to stay and kill another one? I don't know. I'm pretty hungry. How about you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm ready for those steaks tonight. Oh, yeah. Now I'm really hungry. The hunt starts out as wanting to give back and do something for them 
and there's no doubt at the end of it the hours that we share and the the times that we share eating together and and telling stories you walk away with a, uh, a lifelong friendship we will always be connected by that experience and that might be one of the best parts of volunteering for this job so I've also had several volunteers that have helped us with this deal and you know they're so humbled to be a part of it and you can just see the joy and on their faces to, to be able to give back and it's unbelievable. Hey Garrett! Howdy! Come in here man! <laughs> How what are you? you? What do you got? Good to see you! Good to see you man, been a while! I know it! How, How long? Been since uh... April 9th? April 9th? We got something for what you. What have you got? Oh my goodness! Oh, Garrett! What do you think? Ooh, that's my turkey! Yes sir! The tail. Yes, sir. <laughs> All of it. How well, pretty. <laughs> yeah. Man, that is beautiful. The, the beard. Yeah. My goodness. I had no idea yeah. he'd be that pretty. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> How you been doing? You been hunting really? anymore? Uh, yeah. Got fishing. to go out a little bit. Have you? Not uh, fishing yet, but I got to kill a couple of turkeys. Oh, really? Yeah. You got to go fishing? Yeah, not yet. I want to go one time and <laughs> the crappie wasn't biting them, but they would be now. Okay. They, you well, know, good. so uh, I'm looking good forward to getting out, getting out. Maybe Saturday. Yes. Come on in. All righty. Man, how nice. pretty. Hey, look at this. Look at here. This might might look good in here. Mr. Harlan, I'm, it was a pleasure for me to be able to do this for you. And uh, Thank I you. love getting to meet you. Love getting to hunt with you. Love hearing the stories. You know, getting to know some of the, our, our uh, common friends and, and uh Thanks for letting me do this for you, and uh, I appreciate your service, and um, hopefully we'll get to do it again sometime. I don't think I've ever had anyone make as much effort as you gentlemen did for me that morning. I was shocked. I thought I was going hunting with you, and I wound up, you were escorting me out there and set me in a blind and whispered in my ear, <laughs> Mr. Harlan, cock your gun. <laughs> Mr. Harlan, pull the trigger. And then when the turkey went down, we both shouted, didn't we? Oh man, that was great. <laughs> Thank yeah. God for the turkey. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. It was, it, was a, it was a great day. Great yeah. time. Thank oh, you so it was much. Wonderful. On behalf of uh, Patriot Hunts and Small Town Hunter, um, thank you for letting us be a part of your hunt and thank you for being a part of our hunt. And um, hopefully, hopefully we'll get to do it again sometime. You know, I heard about Patriot Hunts through one of the guys that's been on several deployments to Afghanistan and Iraq. And when I heard about it and he told me, he said, I'd like to go hunting. And I went hunting with him one day and we saw a lot of turkey. But then you gentlemen put this together for me and called in the turkey instead of us chasing them. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope we can do more for the Patriot Hunts in the future. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. you again. You're very welcome. And people will tell us, you know, all the time, every time we do one, you know, we're posting pictures on Facebook, like, you know, we're, we're hosting these heroes in camp this week. It's been a great time. And, and every time we do it, we have somebody else say, how can I get involved? What can I do? do you, what do you need? So if you want to get involved, if you or a, you know someone that is a, a combat wounded veteran or a Gold Star family, they can go to patriothunts.org to the website. And in there somewhere, there's a link to, to fill out an application. You give, you know, some little bit of background information, some contact information and what you might want to hunt, whether it's bears, deer, elk, you name it. You know, they do all kinds of stuff. Um, there's, there's all kinds of people needed. They need landowners, they need hosts. Sometimes all you need, you know, you need some charcoal or a couple of gallons of sweet tea or, or a dessert or a snack tray. And a lot of people will do that and you don't realize how much that helps. You know, it saves you a trip to the store to get ice or you know, gathering up snacks to make sure everybody is, is comfortable, they're taken care of, and they feel like they're at home. So I wanted to get involved, not only to, as a way to give back to the heroes that have served our country, because in, in I, that was the best way I knew how. Um, I love the outdoors, I love the idea of it, and the passion that it takes to carry on, and, and what it means to so many people. And I thought, if that's what we love to do, why not mix that with giving back to our heroes? As a volunteer guide, it is really refreshing to be with someone who is as excited and as passionate about it as I am and that you can feel their energy and excitement right there next to you. Volunteering for the Patriot Hunts organization, um, it's always 
It's always fun to be together, and it's always a good time. Um, and we've been blessed with some really good hunts and blessed with a lot of uh, hours in the field with these hunters. Um, it's very humbling to get to uh, be with them. It is uh, very uh, humbling to hear their stories and know what they've gone through and sacrificed for us. And it's, um, uh, it's a joy on our part to be able to give back to them, to just a little part of us to say, or say thank you to them. I want to thank all the guys that took me on the hunt. It was wonderful. Beyond anything I could imagine. No one's ever took me hunting. I would took other people. So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Well, suffice it to say, Mr. Harlan Kaur is not your typical 85-year-old. <laughs> I can only hope that I'm half as active as he is when I'm his age. On behalf of the Wildlife Department, we, along with all of Patriot Hunts, salute you, Mr. Core, and thank you for your service. Here's to many more adventures in your future. And thank you all for joining us today as well. We'll see you right here next time on Outdoor Oklahoma. <laughs>